Action News is once again on the hunt for one of Detroit's most wanted criminals. And tonight, homicide detectives need your help finding whoever gunned down a young man inside his car. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Bisram has more on a family's plea to find his killer. A night out with friends ends with gunshots. 25-year-old Demetrius Evans killed in his own car. Just a loving, caring individual. Um, he put other people before himself. Tears leak from his mother's eyes as she remembers the phone call on November 7th. And my heart dropped. I knew right then and there. Detective E. Kimball with DPD Homicide says around 2 in the morning, as Demetrius drove off of I-96 near Wyoming in Detroit, another car cut him off. They maneuvered around the car and continued to follow their friends. Okay. That car that cut them off followed them, overtook them, and fired shots at them. Demetrius, who worked two jobs and was a semester away from his mechanical engineering degree from Oakland University, died shortly after. This surveillance video shows him in his Dodge Magnum pulling up at a nearby gas station before the shooting. The other cars are filled with friends of his. We would like to talk to uh, the other persons in these vehicles. Here, Demetrius goes in to buy a few things. That would be the last time he purchased anything. He was at, definitely at the wrong place at the wrong time. Now all Demetrius' loved ones have our memories. I've never seen him hurt anybody. I've never even seen him have an argument. My whole life I've never seen him upset. They want the gunman caught and so do police. Those bullets could have randomly struck anybody's house, went through anybody's window, and struck anybody who was sleeping at that point in time. Just turn yourself in. You know he was innocent victim. You shot the wrong person. You just heard from Demetrius' family. If you know anything about the person who killed him, help give his family some closure. Call the Detroit Police Department's homicide tip line at 313-596-2260 or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Remember, you can remain anonymous when calling both numbers. Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News. Yeah, hopefully somebody will speak up. Yes. There's Coming up next.